Hello everybody and welcome back to another tipping video on the channel. We're in the final two rounds of the home and away season now. It's going to be an exciting finish and hopefully a very exciting final series as well. Let's kick things off with a Friday night match with St Kilda taking on Brisbane at Marvel Stadium. Uh, this is probably one of the easier Friday night matches to tip, I think. Um, yeah, Brisbane... They're going a lot better than St Kilda right now. They got a solid win against the Blues last week. St Kilda, they got beaten by 40-something points. Um, looked alright for patches, but just outclassed in the end. And they haven't been going well at all uh, in recent times. They have haven't shown... Uh, in the first half of the year, they looked like a lock for top 8, but they've just completely fallen away. And I'm going to have to tip Brisbane by 46. The Bulldogs taking on GWS is up next, and this is normally a fairly entertaining matchup. Uh, last time these two teams faced off, it was the highest scoring game of the year, um, and there's been some thrillers before. Obviously, there is still a bit of a rivalry going on here. Um, it had been festering for a few years. I feel like it's starting to uh, cool down a little bit now, but um, I remember a couple of years ago, it was really fiery that rivalry. Um, hopefully this should provide some really entertaining booty. Uh, I'm gonna have to tip the Bulldogs here. I'll go I'll go the Bulldogs by 18 points. Um, yeah, GWS, they were going pretty dismally, although they did get a win last week. The Dogs, however, they need to keep they need this win to keep their season alive. And I think they should get the job done and keep their prospects of making finals alive. Crows taking on North Melbourne now. Um, probably a fairly simple tip this one. Adelaide, they've been, they've won their last two games. They got a big win against Carlton a couple of weeks ago and they knocked off West Coast to spoil the party of Josh Kennedy's final game. Yeah, I think before those couple of wins, they had been building up to something and I feel like we're starting to see this, this kind of feels like how their season went last year. They started off well, pretty poor throughout the middle, um, competitive, but weren't really getting the results, and they're starting to get the results at the end of the season. And they're doing the same thing again this year. I'm going to tip... I mean, North Melbourne have improved as of late, but I'm going to tip Adelaide by 17. Gold Coast taking on Geelong now. The Sun season is all but over. Geelong, they... Well, I mean, I feel like last match was potentially uh, their most losable game. Although, then again, you could make the argument that Gold Coast at Metricon Stadium, there is a chance they lose this, but I don't see it happening. Um, I'll tip, I'll tip Geelong by 25 points. I don't really see them losing another game this year. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens in final series. But in terms of the home and away season, I think they win their last two games and go into the finals with an 18 wins and four losses record. Yeah, so Geelong win this one by 25. Melbourne taking on Carlton. This should be a cracking matchup. Carlton need to get a win to solidify a spot in the top eight, while Melbourne need to get back on track and, well, I mean, they haven't guaranteed a top four spot, so they'll need to win this to really solidify that top four spot. Um, I think, I think I'll tip Melbourne in this one. You know, they're a little bit more reliable than Carlton. Carlton really haven't been playing too crash hot as of late, and I'm, I'll tip them, I'll tip Melbourne by 18 points. Uh, hopefully, this should be a good match, um, on the Saturday night. Hopefully it is. I'll tip Melbourne by 18 points. The Western Derby now. Um, I feel like the last few times there's been a Western Derby, it's always been on the Sunday afternoon, but this one's a Saturday night as well. So finally got a bit of a prime time slot there. Uh, fairly simple tip this one. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think it's... I think it's really... Uh, you can't see West Coast winning this one. I mean, they just lost to a bottom four side in their one of their club legends send off games. So if you think if you if they can't win that at home, then they're not going to win another game this season. They got 
obviously the game against Fremantle and then the week after Geelong at GMHBA. Yeah, I think they could well get belted in both of those games. So uh, yeah, pretty simple tip this one, Frio by 55. Richmond taking on Hawthorne now. Um, this is... This is, there's been some interesting matches between these two sides over the last couple of years. I remember earlier in the year there was a pretty entertaining high scoring match where Richmond won by roughly 23 points, I think. And last year they obviously drew in Sean Burgoyne's final game. Um, uh, there's been a few upsets between these two sides in previous years before that. So this should be, and Hawthorne, they're playing okay right now. I think they've won their four of their last five games uh, against not very good opposition, but they've been getting the wins, and that's all that really matters. Richmond, I think if they win this, they, they're definitely making finals this year, and I am going to tip them to win this. Uh, I'll tip them to win it by 14 points. Should be an entertaining match. Yeah, Richmond, if they lose this, then still a possibility that they miss the 8, but if they win it, I think they definitely make the 8 from here. Perhaps the most anticipated matchup this round, the two, arguably two of the most informed teams of the comp, Sydney taking on Collingwood. Obviously Collingwood, they're on an 11-win streak, and while they have been getting over by a pretty close margins, they've been getting the job done. Sydney, on the other hand, they've won their last five, but they've been getting it done by some pretty hefty margins. They beat Frio by 17, Adelaide by 33, Bulldogs by 53, uh, GWS by 73, and of course North Melbourne by 38. So they've been getting it done by some pretty significant margins. However, I don't think they'll get it done by a big margin this time. I am still going to tip them. Um, I'm backing in my team for the rest of the year. I'll tip us by six points. Uh, it should be an absolutely cracking game of footy. At the SCG, when will these two sides play off at the MCG again? I don't know. Hopefully next season, because it hasn't been for quite some time now. Yeah, it's, I don't know what's up with that. Um, but yeah, as for this game, it should be a cracking match of footy. Sydney by six points. Essendon taking on Port now. Uh, Port Adelaide season definitely over now. They're not making finals. They mathematically can't make finals from here. Essendon also mathematically can't make finals. However, um, they've still got a lot to play for. They they need to show their fans that they that they are on the right track. Um, look, it's been a disappointing year for them, although they have finished it off pretty well. Did lose to GWS last week, but other than that, I think they've been playing pretty good this second half of the season. It's it's in Melbourne. Um, and for that reason, I'm actually going to tip them. I think they can. It should be, a, you know, I'll tip it to be a thrilling match. I'll go Essendon by five points. Port Adelaide, they're kind of starting to fall away this season. They don't really have much to play for at this point. Um, they're, they were playing for finals that that's over now they're not making finals they've just they they really didn't start the season off well and they're not finishing it off well at all so uh yeah i'm gonna tip Essendon by five points in this one hopefully a cracking match of footy and that'll be that'll be the round 22 tips uh hope you did enjoy let's take a quick look at the ladder melbourne back in the top two sydney in third spot geelong obviously two wins ahead on top spot so they have if they win this weekend, then they wrap up the top spot, uh, depending on other results. We've got Richmond and Carlton in the top eight. Western Bulldogs just knocking on the door. That should be a... That'll be interesting to see if Carlton... Carlton could potentially still miss the eight from here, and that'd be a... Oh, that'd be really something, considering they were, what, eight and two at some stage? Yeah. Uh, St. Kilda, I think, while still... Yeah, it doesn't look likely for them. Gold Coast and Port Adelaide, yeah, their seasons are done now. Looking at the bottom, it's still West Coast and North Melbourne on the bottom by quite a fair margin, by four games. Um, it'll be interesting to see, because uh, if North, I think it's, if North Melbourne pinch a win this weekend against Adelaide, then West Coast are most certainly finishing bottom of the ladder. 
um, considering that they've got Frio and Geelong in the last two weeks. But yeah, that'll be that'll be all for this week. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.